Thank you so much. Uh, so I'm now going to introduce to you the chair of the Australia Korea Foundation, Mr. Peter Coleman. He's also the CEO and managing director of Woodside, Australia's largest independent oil and gas company, uh, and also a company which has, of course, very long connection to the Republic of Korea. So with that, I ask you, ask you to give your attention to Mr. Coleman. Um, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, Jim, and, and uh, thanks, Claire, for hosting us this evening. Look, um, more importantly, thanks, everybody, for turning up. I, I know there's a lot of uh, competition. Uh, it is grand final week. I know this audience here uh, understands that there's a fairly important football match going to occur on Saturday. You probably don't care too much about one of the teams that are playing, but I come from Perth, so I do. <laughs> um, and I can assure you our office building will be lit up in... Uh, yellow and blue tonight, so if you want to watch the newspapers, you'll see that. Um, I'd like to also acknowledge the, the land on which we're meeting, uh, the, uh, the custodians of that land, past, present and future. Uh, but also, as I said, thank you very much for coming tonight and sharing this evening with us, because it really uh, is, is nothing if you don't come along and, and attend. Now, what is the Australia Career Foundation? It's a really good question. It's a government entity that was set up many, many years ago. And its real aim is to promote people-to-people -people relationships. So you might say, well, why do you have a chairman who runs a energy company with uh, the Australia Career Foundation? I think it's a really good question. Some of it, of course, is relationships. Um, some of it, of course, is the efforts that people have put into understanding uh, the countries in which we work with and live in over the years. But what I'd like to do is introduce you to the board. Um, to, and we've got some new board members with us today, and I'll just get them to, to put their hand up. And you'll get a sense for at least the types of individuals that we're able to attract. And, and by the way, um, we don't get paid for this, so we're doing this because we really enjoy this, and this is a very thing that's very important to us. Uh, but firstly, um, if I can introduce our new board members, uh, Jacinta Thompson. Jacinta, so Jacinta's over the back there. <laughs> so Jacinta's representing South Australia in the room today, so uh, very much, and of course she, she represents the performing arts uh, within the group. Um, Professor Ruth Barraclough, where are you, Ruth? So Ruth's here. Ruth is, uh, is Canberra-based, uh, is at ANU, and of course has um, spent many, many years in South Korea, in fact went to university there as, uh, as a 17-year-old, uh, is that correct? So, um, uh, goodness me, think about, um, we're not going to age Ruth at all today, but uh, 17 years of age, um, Ruth can clearly claim to be an expert on uh, the Republic of, of Korea. Uh, Chris Rossidi. Where are Chris? Chris is over the back. Uh, Chris heads up ANZ's activities um, in, in Korea and of course has uh, lived there for many years. He's married to a Korean, so he's domiciled in Seoul, so he's made his way down to Melbourne tonight to, to join us. He's the one suffering from jet lag, but again you can see Chris is, is new to the board as well. Um, some of the uh, other board members have been around with me for a while. I've been doing this for three years now. Georgina Carnegie, who has just been renewed. <laughs> Georgina has a, a very long association with Korea as well as many other Asian nations. Um, she's, uh, I'm going to tell you, she's an entrepreneur, venture capitalist, uh, amongst other things. She's an advisor to AsiaLink uh, and, uh, and a friend of Asia in general. So you'll find uh, Georgina is... Uh, fascinating to have a, a conversation with and she'll be very challenging in her questions as well. So it's a two-way conversation uh, as well and we love having um, Georgina on the board. And of course Dr Naomi Mathers. Uh, Naomi? Over the back there. Uh, and of course Naomi's uh, currently working uh, for the Centre on Complex Projects. I uh, understand previously uh, she, she had a um, an assignment uh, doing some things with, with uh, space research. Uh, and so you can see, and Naomi's Canberra based as well, so you can see we've got quite a broad spectrum of people that come together to really promote the relationship between Australia and Korea. So what do we do? Well, we get some money each year, uh, and then we meet three times as a board, and then we give each of the board members a little project to do. 
so we get a reasonable amount of money. And for those of you who uh, received our funding, thank you very much for the work that you've done for us. For those of you who are thinking about applying for funding, please, um, please do so. Uh, apply vigorously and, generous, and we'll be generous uh, in our praise and our help. Um, because we want you to be successful. Our role is that you put the seeds down and we put the fertiliser on it and, and get it moving. And we've got some examples of where that works. And of course, the next funding round starts in February next year for those of you who are thinking about that. We've got some success stories here in Victoria, which is fabulous. Um, and it's, uh, it's some interesting ones. So as I said, we, we do people to people. We do get a lot of applications out of academia. Um, but we, we equally get a lot of you know, things around sport, uh, around the arts, the performing arts, and around fashion, uh, and so forth. And so we've had some really successful programs, one here in Victoria, one with Baseball Australia. It started two years ago as an idea, um, a relationship with one of our board members. Uh, we, we helped sponsor a team to go up to Korea. That relationship then germinated to the point now that uh, a uh, Korean team, professional Korean team, will now be based in Geelong uh, this year and will play 40 games in the Australian national competition, uh, which is absolutely fabulous. And for those of you in the room who know the Koreans' passion for baseball, each one of those games is going to be streamed live uh, into Korea, which is absolutely fabulous from a content point of view as well. So Australia is a little bit more than Sam Hemington, um, as for those of you who know Sam. Um, you know, we, uh, we also are able to play baseball reasonably well and well enough that a, uh, a uh, Korean professional team is willing to, to send their players down and play with us. We also have university relationships, some very strong ones, of course, you know, with universities such as Swinburne, Monash in particular, who runs an, an excellent program. And for those of you who know, I'm, I'm a Monash alumni. Asia Link is very strong relationships, as does Melbourne University, RMIT, and of course the arts organisations such as the Australian Arc August, Art Orchestra, who you'll hear a little bit of tonight, and of course the Arts Centre of Melbourne itself. Now, we have a website, as you have to in these days, so we do advertise uh, well, so please get onto the Australia Career Foundation website and learn a little bit more about us. Please um, take the opportunity this evening to get to know us, make some new friends, some new contacts and acquaintances. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, forget what we do in our day jobs. This is what we really love to do. Um, so thank you for coming along tonight. I hope you get something out of this evening, as, as we will. Uh, let's make some new friends. Um, let's get together, uh, enjoy each other's company. And again, I'd like to thank the Arts Centre for the opportunity um, to be able to host you here tonight. And of course, uh, the Australia uh, Career uh, Business Council as well for jointly running this program with us tonight. So thanks very much. Thank